What up, world? This is Thrill Boxing Magazine, episode 11. I'm your host, Mike Thrill, baby. Listen, man, I'm back. You know what I'm saying? I got some things to talk about because we got a great fight coming up with two pound for pound fighters in boxing. You know what I'm saying? A possible fight of the year candidate. You know, um, and we're going to see how it go. But before I get to all of that, when it come to Stephen Fulton and Iowa in a way, I gotta talk to y'all about what else been happening in boxing. You know what I'm saying? Um we had uh the Spence Crawford workout, uh media workouts, you know what I'm saying? Um you know, it was a lot to uh to talk about for a lot of fans. You know, they they just pretty much regular workouts to me. Um, but it was a lot of people, you know, pointing some things out, uh, how Spence looked way bigger. You know, Spence was ready. For you know, some reason, people, some people thought Bud might be in, you know, some type of shape he didn't want to be in because he had his shirt on. I just want y'all to know that he just had his shirt on. I mean, it's not that serious. But, um, you know, you had Crawford giving a... A, a lengthy uh, workout for the media. Next day you had Spence, you know, giving, showing some power shots, you know, uh, ripping to the to the bag. Um, him and Derrick James did some great pad work. Wait, wait, wait. Let me rewind. Uh, for Buds, you know, we had uh, his homie Bernie, you know, hyping him up in the back. You know, uh. You know, he even let his homie Steven Nelson get in the ring, who uh, is going to be on the card. And, yeah, it was a lengthy workout. And, um, you know, he, he gave he gave a, a, a – I love when fan, when fighters give the media uh, a lot of time and a lot of, you know, content to uh, film on camera and, you know, not give, you know, them little, sh the little weak workouts. You know what I'm saying? Him and uh, Spence. You know, they 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 gave a good workout as usual, and um, you know, I'm excited for that fight, man. We gonna get to that, but today it ain't about that. You know what I'm saying? I'm really excited for that though, man. Um, we had Ryan Garcia talking about he made 30 M's. No, Oscar, I believe the one uh, tweeted it first. But Ryan confirmed, you know what I'm saying, with the tank fight, he brought in 30 M's on his on his end. You know what I'm saying? And um man whew, got me ready to be a pony. You feel me? I was bullshit. But um he also talked about he wanted to fight Roly next. You know what I'm saying? That'd be his first world title if that was to happen. So, you know, I like to see that, man. Let's bring on Ryan and Roley, man. I like to see that. Um, let me know what y'all think if if Ryan and Roley happen. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm thinking it's gonna be in the new, but we'll see. We'll see, man. Hopefully that fight happens. Haney, you know he had a deadline from the WBC. Uh, he had to choose Friday whether he was gonna fight. He was gonna defend his uh WBC against. Shakur Stevenson, or he was whether he was gonna move up to 140 and fight Regis Program for his WBC. Friday came, they gave him an extension to the 27, so we are gonna see how that go. I wanna personally see him fight Tank. I don't wanna see either one, but if I gotta choose between the two, I don't want him to keep struggling to make 135 if it's that hard, or if he can do it, they bring on Shakur, but. I think he would be more comfortable at uh, 140 at this point. So I won't mind seeing Regis. And I'm all about fighters making history. So me personally, I wouldn't mind seeing the uh, Haney Regis. You know what I'm saying? Try to get him a new strap. Um, but let me know what y'all think. I know most of the fans are saying they want to see him and Shakur. You know, uh, they were saying he dug at Shakur. Even Shakur uh, said that he... Even though he kind of think he avoiding the fight, he think it's mostly because of the weight. And I kind of agree. Um, I don't think Haney ducking no smoke. 
you know, he, you don't have to not really want somebody to be ducking him. I mean, and be ducking him, you know. Uh, he definitely uh, do all the fights out there. You know what I'm saying? I definitely don't doubt his uh, bravery because he taking the risk. He done did all the heavy lifting at 135. Um, speaking of 135, you know, uh, we had Keyshawn Davis return um, against, I think his name is Patera. Um, a 28-3 and three guy. You know, Keyshawn Davis is uh, was 8-0, um, six knockouts. And, um... He fought this guy, Pantera. I hope that's his name. I didn't look at the page. I didn't write his name down. A cool night out. It was close to a shutout, pretty much. Um, in my opinion, you know, from just seeing this from experience, I was kind of thinking Keyshawn may have had some weight issues in this fight. Um, you know, he came stripped on the scale for no reason. You know what I'm saying? He, it didn't look like he even had to strip, but he did. And um, then he seemed like he was a little surprised. Then we, when he got in there, you know, um, he got touched with a few body shots. And it, I could tell he felt it. Even admitted after the fight, his stomach uh, felt a little funny. Um, but other than that, man, he the fight was cool. He he had a, a good performance. He, he said that... Uh, it could have been a B minus C plus performance. I agree because um, it seemed like he was fighting in spurts, trying to pace himself. When you have a fighter doing that, you know they a little, they ain't too confident in they in they gas tank or or condition in that fight. And so yeah, I definitely thought he had some weight issues, but he made it look good. You know he could have got the stoppage if he pressed on the gas more. It was a step up in opponents, you know, and um. He, you know, he looked good in, 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 in a step up to me. Um, as far as him fighting Frank Martin, I still got to see a little more. Maybe one more fight to tell me who, because I can't really decide. I think he got all the skills in the world to compete with Keyshawn, but, uh, um, with Frank Martin. But um, we got to see the dog. I got to see more dog, more grit. Man, um. On to the main event. You know, we had George Cambosis fighting Maxi Hughes for his uh, IBO. Now, George Cambosis, this is his first fight since losing twice to Devin Haney um, for all the belts. Um, and I didn't, I never seen Maxi Hughes. You know, I, I, I knew from his record he couldn't punch uh, five KOs in 33 fights. So, honestly... You know, just prejudice, I thought, you know, George Campos was going to cook him. I knew he could box, but I thought George was going to cook him, you know what I'm saying? But that was not the case at all, man, you know what I'm saying? He he was out boxing George, making George look slow. He was make, let, letting everybody know George's feet, footwork is slow and sloppy. Um, He was beating George to the punch, literally. Um... He was even hitting George with some power shots. Had George, you know, looking bothered. Um, now, George, I'm live tweeting the fight. So, I'm not scoring it, but I'm live tweeting the fight. I'm saying what George needs to do. I'm saying George needs to be more aggressive. George needs to pick it up. Even though he missing, he needs to swing more. Don't tweet in all this. And, I don't, I, and, you know, it gets to a point where I'm like, George needs a knockout. You know what I'm saying? George need a knockout. He don't need a knockdown. He need a knockout. Um, I'm I'm thinking Maxi got like eight other rounds. You know what I'm saying? Like once again, I wasn't scoring it, but I didn't have to score it to know. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, they jerked him. They jerked him. You know what I'm saying? Um, Maxi Hughes got done dirty, man. Um. I just I just don't understand the decision. Um, one judge had it one seventeen eleven. I think another judge had a draw. Somebody, somebody fact check that for me. Um, and I know another one had it 
I think one fifteen, one thirteen. Um, yeah, they did. They did. They did. Uh, Maxi dirty man. Um, no way Cambos is won that. I I don't understand that decision. Um, but hey, man. Hey, he got a win. Feed him to Shakur. Feed him to to um Keyshawn Davis. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. Throw him in there, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's see uh what he can do against those guys. You know, you had Shakur calling George out after the fight, saying he he trashed, basically. Telling him he lost. Telling him he had beat the shit out of him. That he had stopped him. He was saying all that. You know what I'm saying? You had George, uh, manager, saying, well, hey, you should take the 25% and fight Devin. Take the 25%. Basically, the nigga will want to fight you. Basically. You know what I'm saying? But that would be a good scrap, Shakur and Cambosis. I think, I think that'd be... That's probably the biggest name Shakur will stop, I think. Um... But yeah, bring that on, man. Fuck it. Let's do it. Or if not, Keyshawn, Keyshawn, I think a cook uh, Campos is too. You know what I'm saying? Bring that on, man. Um, another fight in lightweight in the lightweight division. <laughs> People was talking about uh, was Javante Davis and Chris Colbert. I want y'all to know that that was all cap. I literally seen that tweet live. It was like it's like a troll page, I think. He said um that they was in talks and negotiations to fight. Um uh, and listen, man, if Tank was fight Chris Colbert, so I don't know who said it, I read it. Somebody said that's a scaring the hoes fight. And it literally is, man. Don't nobody wanna see that, bro. Don't nobody wanna see Tank go backwards and fight Colbert. No one in the world. Favors Colbert in that fight. We don't want that. But gladly, it was never happening anyway. I just brought it up because I thought it was funny. You know what I'm saying? Um, we had Canelo drop a video. Uh, you know, they was saying, they was saying, you know what I'm saying? Charlo was training and he golfing. So, you know, they basically saying, you need to get to work. Because Charlo working get ready so he dropped a video he said let me tell you something I don't have to get ready I always ready motherfuckers you know what I'm saying so Canelo told y'all man he, don't play with him don't play with him don't play with sentiment man he telling y'all you ready you I don't need to get ready because I always ready motherfuckers feel me don't worry about nothing. But enough of that, man. Let's get to the main event. The main event. Let's get to the to the to the dessert. To the full meal. Whatever. Whatever you want to call it. Let's get to Fulton and away. In Japan. You got Stephen Fulton, you know what I'm saying? He putting up his two belts. He saying come get him. I dare you come get him. Now he could have waited, you know what I'm saying, till he got all the belts, then made it happen. Um, but nah, he said I ain't waiting. I'ma fight you now. I ain't ain't no point of waiting. As soon as you come up, we can fight. And I respect that, man. I really respect how Fulton didn't waste no time. He said, in a way you want to smoke, come get it. And for that, man, listen. Steven Fulton is a true champion. He done beat nine undefeated fighters in his career. He only got 21 fights. You know, um, damn good fighter, man. You know, um, I believe he was the the B-side in the um, Figueroa fight. I just rewatched that fight. You know, he did his thing, man. You know, um, that was definitely his toughest fight. And, um... He been proving himself time and time again. That's why he on my pound for pound list. You know, um, in a way, been on my pound for pound list. You know, three division champion, former undisputed. He just won undisputed, came up, and um, in a way, actually one of my favorite fighters. 
Uh, my heart kind of with Fulton on this one. You know why. It's like, nah, but... Nah, uh, yeah, for real, though. You know why, but I really like Fulton. Um, cool guy, man. Just seemed like a down-to-earth dude. In a way, you know, I like... I love his fight style. I favor his fighting style more. Probably, like, in a way... I mean, Fulton as a person a little more. But, yeah. I like for uh in a way style and I love his explosiveness. I think he's a great puncher. Um I think he's a great boxer. With that being said, man, I can't decide no winner because Fulton is bigger. You know what I'm saying? Um he can box well. Fulton got all the tools to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Um in a way is a special fighter. Um, I always say to beat the bigger guy, you got to be more special. You got to be greater. You got to be the greater fighter. Um, we're going to see if in a way, uh, Fulton is great too. I think in a way is definitely a great fighter. We're going to see though. We're going to see if he's very good or great, you know, coming up. Um, we're going to see, man. Now, I can't pick a winner. So what I'm gonna do for y'all is try to get y'all like my keys to victory for both. Um, I think uh, I'm gonna start with Anaway. Um, Brandon Figueroa was doing very good in the Fulton fight. Um, he was applying a lot of pressure. Fulton was making a miss, yes, but he was touching Fulton with a lot of shots. On the inside, he was touching him a lot to the body. So I would say pressure, pressure, pressure for in a way. Um, a lot of body work. Um, get inside. You know, um, Fulton does well on the inside. However, in a way, is very explosive, very strong, faster. I think he's faster. Um, cut the ring off. Don't let Fulton use too much of the ring. Because Fulton going to use that ring. That's what he going to do. Um, for Fulton, I think his keys to victory is to use the ring. Is to uh, make, in a way, fight him backing up. Because, you know, in a way, coming forward is... So, you know, make him uncomfortable. However, use the ring. Box, use your stick. Um, use your size and length. You know what I'm saying? Keep that distance. Um, don't let in a way get inside too much and stay off them ropes. Stay off them ropes. Don't let in a way pick off, pick off on you, get no shots off. You know what I'm saying? Don't be just chilling on the ropes. Um, use them feet. Like I said, less inside, less inside, uh, less. Inside work for in a way, the better. Um, yeah, man. I'm real interested in this fight because uh, they made it even more interesting with the little glove situation you had in a way. Uh, I guess he been stacking. You know what I'm saying? For those who don't know what stacking is, you know what I'm saying? When you wrap, you're supposed to wrap the the uh gauze whatever it is being wrapped the tape over you feel me i might i hope i i'm a little sleepy i'm gonna be honest i hope i'm not messing messing um messing it up but basically what fortune is doing is stacking he's putting the tape twice you know what i'm saying so it's like kind of creating the cast as they say and um they say it's legal in some places here it's legal in Japan. However, you know what I'm saying? Um, if I don't want you to do it, if I say I ain't doing it, you shouldn't do it too. However, Fulton did say, hey, I'll do it. You know what I'm saying? I'll do the shit. If you doing it, I don't fuck with it, but I'll do it. Fulton Turner saying, fuck that. We ain't getting in the ring. We ain't getting in the ring if you doing it. You know what I'm saying? In a way, told him basically to suck it up. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
he had made a tweet basically saying Japan has its own local rules, even in the U.S. There are local rules on, in, on each state, and the wine and methods are different. Our fight will be held in Japan on the 25th, so of course I will follow the Japanese rules. It say, like, don't suck it up, just fight. I think he meant to say, suck it up, just fight. But, um, yeah, he basically saying, nigga, I'm stacking whether you like it or not. You better get with it, because we fight, nigga. We in Japan. Basically, that's what he said. You feel me? And, um, I don't think Fulton is really worried about that too much. The trainer was definitely worried about that shit. And, um, we gonna see what happened, man. But, listen. Tuesday is going down. Then Saturday is going down. But we ain't worried about Saturday today. It's all about Fulton, in a way, in a way, Fulton. Shout out to the cool boy, Steph. Shout out to Niola, in a way. Deliver us a great fight, man. May the best man win. You know what I'm saying? I would like to see my heart. I would like to see Fulton bring them belts back to the U.S. You know, and shock the world. Um, in a way, he's a great fighter. I really don't doubt that he... You know, the, I think the loss would affect Cool Boy a little more, to be honest. Um, but we're going to see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Um, a stoppage loss? No. I don't, I don't know. In a way, if it's, if it's a stoppage, probably be in a way. Decision. I think Fulton could pull it off. Well, we're going to see. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what y'all think, man. This Thrill Boxing Magazine... You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to go to my website, untouchablelifestyle.com. Check out them clothes. You know what I'm saying? I got some drip. I'm a real sleepy, man. Check out my TikTok. Um, I just got 60K on there. You feel me? Check out my Instagram, Thrill Boxing. I'll be popping it. I'll be popping it on the Instagram and the Twitter. I'm going to have some interviews for y'all soon, some blogs, all that. Some gym work, some bag work. I'm going to be doing all that, man. But I'm going to need y'all to follow me, like, comment, subscribe. You feel me? Turn me up, man. Throw a box of magazine. Get up out of here, man. Get up out of here.